Uh-huh. Still awake. Woo! Running on caffeine right now, boys and girls. Alright, so, here's what I wanted to share with you. Told you this earlier in my last video. Um, a band by the name of John Abel has reproduced the signal that we've all seen in Stan's patents. He's done it slightly differently as far as how he hooked up everything. But nonetheless, he got the signal. Um, I've gotten similar results, but they're kind of mixed. It really depends on where you place your scope. Um, I have not got near of a clean a signal as he has, but I've got similar results to kind of share with you um, how you can replicate this, and maybe you guys can get better results and then share them. Email me and let me know if you do. Um, so first of all, I just want to show you kind of what he's doing, what's going on here. So this right here is the same thing we've seen. Um, yeah, I'll just hold the camera. This is the signal in Stan's patents. That's what we all have seen, and that's what describes how we're supposed to see it. Um, and then this is actually John's scope shot. It's kind of blurry, and you can see right here the nice step charging and then discharge. That's the gate off time. So there's your pulse on time and then your gate off time and then your your step charging that picks up a little better from up higher and then your step charging okay let's see I got a few more here John sent me these I've been talking with him this week trying to gather up some information for you so that I can share the correct information with you now if you look you can actually start seeing right here you can see like a down pulse and then an up pulse and then this center flat line right here but you can see it step charging real nice and you can see it doubling um, it looks like it's doubling anyway these little spikes right here um, kinda hard to tell where they're at but um, I'll, I'll post these in a link on the description I'm also going to be posting this on a forum thread so please read it uh, let's see I'm going the wrong way uh, let's get up here you can see it real close here you can see it uh, comes up, drops down, and then goes up high. Looks like it repeats that process, but you can see it nicely step charging and discharging. Those are beautiful shots. This is the, the core he was using, and the, the transformer, I guess. It's basically exactly the same thing as a standard um, transformer, one to one ratio, I believe. And similar to what you see in some of Stan's very first patents um, and first drawings of this, like the very first thing. Uh, some of those pictures a lot of people haven't seen, but they're over at the forums as well. This is the cell that he was using. And let's see. This is the circuit. Now, this isn't the exact circuit. Um, I believe this was off of uh, JL Nodding's website, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, this is what he's got. He's got a pulsing transformer. This is similar to a Dave Lawton circuit over here. And then he's got a pulsing transformer right here, and then he's got a bridge rectifier. This is the key to getting the proper signal at this point in time. And then none of this was connected, just the cell. So if you replicate this, you just do a transformer. You can do one-to-one -one or step up, doesn't matter, to a bridge rectifier, and then directly to the cell. So just pretend like this isn't here at all, okay, and none of this either. And that's basically what he was doing, and that's what I'm doing right now. Now, these are results that I have gotten while doing some testing. And you can see my on, off, on, off pulse, and then my gate. And you can see my pulse here. All right, and it's very lightly step charging. But see this second pulse? That, depending on where you put your ground lead, and I'll show you this, but depending on where you put your ground lead, you'll get that signal. Now, I'm having a real hard time to do it with my PC scope to keep shorting out against ground and stuff, so it kind of acts dumb. But here's what I want to show you. This is um, doubling. This is frequency doubling. This right here is one on, one off. That's from this point to this point is one cycle. Well, if you look, you see a pulse here. And then check this out. Check this second pulse out right there. You see that? That's actually right here. Okay? So there's your, your doubling. All right? And you do that with this bridge rectifier. Now... I was playing around with this and I actually put a diode in the circuit like you would normally see stand circuits and I kind of got similar results depending on where I placed my scope. So scope placement is very important to get results. And I've also just seen one signal or just seen the other again depending on where I hooked up my scope. I'm actually hooking up the scope ground 
Um, right now for this demonstration I'm leaving it off because it shorts out funny. But I've actually hooked up my scope ground to my cell on opposites and that's how I received this signal right here. Um, I want to show this little video clip of John. His YouTube username is J-O-A-B-E-L-19711. Alright, so I'm going to give the, uh, this and this kind of shows that signal in action. Okay, it's about 4 o'clock, June 20th. I got a good resonant picture here. So that's, that is the cleanest signal I've ever seen that replicates what, what we're looking for. So this may be a great start on what we're trying to do. As far as learning how this process is supposed to happen exactly. The rest of the videos, uh, some little bit of gas reduction and a few other things. So you guys can watch this video, but I wanted to show you that. Um, so here I will explain to you what I have and show you the scope shots I'm getting right now. I got the rustic frequency. It's a gating 50%, 50%, both 50% duty cycles. Um, here's my frequency, resonant frequency, and my gating. Now, interestingly enough, I can get a similar signal even not in resonance, but definitely when I do get into that resonance, I definitely see a huge amount uh, of gas production over normally. Now this is distilled water, probably got a few contaminants in it, but it is distilled water and I am producing gas with uh, an 18 volt battery. Uh, so, just turn it on, and I'll show you the scope shot here, and uh, kind of show you what I got. I'll zoom in here. Actually what I'm going to do is change this to single, there we go, signal I mean. And then I can zoom in here and show you what I got. It's kind of hard to see. Let's go in a little bit closer. Not too far. Alright, we'll do with that. So right here you see this this pulse. I'm going to show this off, it's kind of noisy. So right here you see this uh, pulse on, pulse off, pulse on, and I'm in between my gating. My gating is going on, but I'm in between it. And check this out. You get your pulse on here, and you get this low spot. And then you shut the pulse off, and you get this high peak. It comes to about right here. It's hard to see. And then it comes back down. You know, it kind of does its bell ringing effect. And then look here. Right in the middle of this dead pulse, you get a giant spike. So I'm actually... I'm seeing what I think is my bridge output right here. Okay. So, um, go ahead and turn this back on. And hit play. Back out here a little bit so you can see the charging going on. And this is extremely similar to what we see in this video. Alright, so there's his step charging and his discharging. And there's the step charging and discharging. Um, I am connected directly to the lead and it's uh, it's producing gas, but it's tiny little bubbles and it's not much. Oh, there comes some big bubbles out of there. So it is producing gas um, with, with distilled small amount of contaminants in here. Um, there you can see some of them. Now it's small amounts, but I'm, I'm impressed with the signal. That's why I'm showing you this demo, is because of this signal that John has created here. Um, it's, it's a brilliant signal, and I'm going to try to answer all your questions so you don't have to bombard him with questions. Okay, so let's go back to the pictures. I'll turn this on for a second, I'll explain the circuit again. I'm trying to help John out here by not, you know, having him being bombarded with questions. So... Let's go back to this circuit. Again, this is what Stan shows. This is what we're looking for, and that's what I'm seeing, which is this is why I'm so impressed with this particular signal. All right, so he's got basically a similar to what a Rustic does, you know, just gating, no problem there. Uh, two 555 five, five timers. This is the same as Lawton circuit, but he's going into, um, this actually says MOSFET drivers, but what, what these are are probably AND gates um, and not MOSFET drivers, so... You have to do some digging on that, maybe. But basically, we're going into a standard core here, transformer, to a bridge rectifier directly to the cell. I've I've installed chokes, and I've seen similar results with the single diode on this point. Okay, so it's like basically like that. The circuit's like that. 
these bottom two wires are connected and the top one goes that. I, I actually did get similar results, which was, I'm not sure, um, I'm 99% sure it's all about scope placement. It's all about where you put your leads at, and including the ground. You can connect the ground here and there and make sure you, you know, check your scope out, make sure you can do that. But I have connected it to ground and, um, you know, it, it, I've gotten similar results. Now, again, this is John's, this is what John was using for this test. It is, I believe, um, well, I'm not going to quote it. I don't know how round this is, but um, I believe it's 18 gauge magnet wire. Might be a little higher. I really don't know. I, I don't really don't know. John doesn't know um, exact specifications. And I haven't talked to him enough to really get all the data. But I wanted to show you this. This is what it looks like. I believe this is on a ferrite rod. And it's just wrapped on a ferrite rod, two of them together, uh, by filer. And that's it. Okay. So again, I got my battery power source going through my pulse signal. My pulse signal is going in one side of the transformer. Okay. This is by filer wrapped. Actually, this coil is not by filer wrapped. Actually, now that I think about it, this one's not by filer. This one has a primary and a secondary. So, I guess it works with both, but obviously he was getting much better signals than I am. Um, and the secondary, so you got the primary just going in, it's isolated. The secondary is isolated. Goes to a bridge rectifier to the cell. And that's it. There's nothing else to the circuit to replicate the signal that he got. So the quest is try to re replicate that signal and post it over at the thread on the forum. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give John dual credit on this thing. He um, has um, created this signal and uh, I've tried to replicate it and got somewhat similar results. But again, it's uh, in my opinion about scope placement and the bridge rectifier definitely plays into the doubling, obviously. Um, but nonetheless, tr play with it and see what you get because, um, again, I did get some interesting results. So, John, there you go, buddy. Um, as always, um, credit is due, credit gets where credit is deserved, and that'll always be true. So that's it, Russ out. Um, I, uh, uh, that's it, yeah. I'll make another video on the EPG real quick because I want to talk to you guys about that. So, peace and love. Have a good day. See ya.